The way was long, the wind was cold, the minstrel was infirm and old. His tattered gown and tresses grey seemed to speak of a better day. The harp his whole soul remaining joy was carried by an orphink boy. The last of all the bards was he who sang of border chivalry. I noticed Van Linz's work soon after arriving in Australia, back in 1959, because his style was absolutely unique. There was nobody in the world who drew like Vane. And to me, this style almost became synonymous with Australia. Crocodiles, snakes, swagmen, kangaroos, sheep, billycans, rats, possums, campfires, dampers, dunnies, mosquitoes. This country would not be Australia without Vin Lindsay. <laughs> here at the gallery based on our permanent collection and Bain I think came up for it or, or saw the catalogue and corrected me for uh, some terrible blunder that I did and goes back to uh, way back. These days Bain is more than a cartoonist. He is Australia's graue eminence of cartooning, a leading expert. He's an author of many books. Among his many awards is a Silver Stanley and for many years he has been Victorian President of the Australian Cartoonists Association. Did I say Australia would not be the same without Wayne Lindsay? Well, that's what cartoonists do. We exaggerate. <laughs> I usually start, invariably start, um, roughing out the drawing um, in lead pencil, as you can see I'm doing here. And uh, after that, I'm drawing a kangaroo here, very roughly, just um, getting the feel of the action and so forth. Um, what I do then is, um, I start refining that this is not the finished artwork. Um, just, just start refining now and getting things right uh, with a pen. I use a fountain pen. Um, it has one drawback in that uh, the ink we use isn't waterproofed. Now, this is, looks very rough, but it's. I'm just getting the feel. I may alter some of this. Part of my practice is, I say I don't like this leg, uh, I might draw that leg, tear a bit of this off, and I might do this leg like this, uh, very roughly, just to get the feel, and the claws are up there, right. Now, I might just twist that a bit, and that's how I work. I would paste that down. If I satisfied that leg had to go there, I would paste that down, uh, sticky tape, another sheet of paper, and I'd redraw again with that leg in another position. I was always interested in drawing as, as, as a schoolboy. Uh, we used to draw on the footpaths with chalk, and, uh, copy things out of the newspapers and so forth. Um, I had a, a drawing published when I was aged at 12 years of age in the um, Melbourne Herald. Uh, it was a limerick that, I, that amused me somewhere I'd read it. It went, um, there's once a gay young giraffe who wanted to own a wool scarf. So he started to knit 
the size it would fit, and it took him a year and a half. Well, that was published uh, with my little drawing, crude as it was, and um, for that I was paid half a crown, and uh, I, I was about eight feet high for about a fortnight after that. In fact, at the age of uh, 12, 12 or 13, you could have called me a professional. I'd been paid for drawing. What really um, decided me, or the decision to become a cartoonist, was uh, during the war, the Second World War. Um, I was in Darwin um, during the bombing up there and I got knocked around a bit, uh, just the general conditions, and I was transferred to Melbourne and um, from, oh, from pillar to post, pushed around everywhere, worked on the wharves, did everything. Uh, finally ended up in a unit called the Australian Army Education Service and uh, they, the Australian Army Service Education Service published a magazine called SALT and that was um, a little magazine issued fortnightly to um, all the, the troops of, uh, in the Navy, the Air Force and the Army of course and um, I was fortunate enough to um, on the basis of my contributions, uh, freelance drawings to this magazine, I was invited to um, join the staff, uh, which I grasped with both hands. Um, and that really started me off um, on my career. At the time, I was aged about oh, exactly um, 23, 24 years of age. Um, after the war, um, work was easy to get. Um, I had three years in England and uh, studied the work of other artists over there. I uh, saw the work of Dormia in Paris and Ferrain and uh, uh, Saul Steinberg in London exhibition. Um, that, that, that was rather exciting. Um, I was only three years in England and the continent. I visited um, about 11 countries, I think. Uh, went through Germany, saw the dreadful bombing of um, Dresden. I saw the dreadful bombing in Vienna. Uh, when I got back to Australia from um, uh, London, um, I, as I say, work was easier to get. Um, I uh, secured a position on the Melbourne Argus newspaper. That now is defunct, of course. And um, I was only there three years, but in that time uh, I was made head artist. I don't know why. Uh, that's not modesty. Um, during that time, um, I re-met an old friend um, in army education, uh, Dr. Andrew Fabini, who was a Hungarian, a Jewish refugee from Europe. And um, he, at that time, was um, uh, publishing manager for uh, Cheshire, Cheshire Publishing and uh, it was through uh, Andrew's um, benevolence that uh, I started um, a second career in uh, book design. Um, I started off doing dust jackets for Cheshire and uh, eventually, after a bit of um, self-study, uh, uh, teaching myself uh, the principles of typography and so forth, um, I was launched um, to the pleasurable work of uh, designing books. Um, I'll 
must say I've been a bit successful in that regard uh, in that um, in what was it 1989 I got the award uh, for the um, best design book uh, in Australia for that year um, which I felt rather proud of um, since then, um, I've had the joint uh, occupation, book design and um, uh, humorous illustration, and uh, that's uh, my life so far. Here about him, you know, where he's got the that, this guy's forearms. His hands are as big as his forearms, which is in 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 a proportion to his, you know, to the the jaw and so on like that. Even though he's got the the traditional spindly legs, yeah. but this is beautiful. Where he's directly opposite in here, he's got a guy with probably equally big hands, but the forearm is yeah. as thin as a match. Yeah, that, that lovely, uh, uh, if you like, that what they call it, juxtaposition of of, uh, of shapes. And this gets back to his designing because mm. almost everything he does yeah. um, has that, that lovely element of design about it. He was born a, he was born a designer before he was a cartoonist. Tom, but he loves the feel of the, the, uh, the nib without the scratchiness of a steel nib. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you don't see, what you don't see in Vane's work, even though he sort of uses a pen almost exclusively, He's you don't see that um, when the nib flexes and throws spatter. Uh, this is a book you illustrated 50 yeah. years ago. Yeah, gosh. And I was surprised at the uh, different style of it's illustration. More than that. Oh, yeah. yes, this Hazel? Yeah, that's Hazel. Oh, yeah. My father said I should sue him for that. George, you that's cut And he has. Look yeah, at that, George. You haven't changed Hazel's a bit, have you? <laughs> well, there's a picture of you. Is yeah, that you? Yeah, yes, that's man. Bluey. Yeah. Mm. And be oh, You wouldn't have known. Oh, he had the most gorgeous red hair. No, I didn't. Oh. oh, you must see some of our photographs. I might but bring them along one day. Oh, when we're oh it's very handsome, the George. The journalist ball there. Look at this. Don't, nice. don't, uh, don't you think this looks like an illustration from uh, a, a, an English magazine punch? It does, yeah. yes. Illustration yes. for Stephen Potter or something? Yeah, I'll be Typical. very interested. What's that hanging out the front of his pyjamas? I beg your pardon. Uh, no, <laughs> it's a drawstring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is too. I was too far away. It's a family book. It's a family book, dear. It's amazing how your style changed. Isn't it? You don't well, think so? it was a one-off, George, um, um, Rolf. He was I was doing the other style, went to that, and then went back to the current. <coughs> mm. He um, it was an experiment. He yeah. was intended I don't, I, I think they're very crude. I don't Maybe think they're crude at all. Well. I think they're, look at the, you know, the chain smoker. Mm. Yeah. Um, politics isn't my forte. Um, cartooning is. That's, that's my principal interest, not politics. However... Grab that and we'll start again.